Those of us who are old enough can remember grandma's kitchen on the family farm, with its shelves stocked with ingredients for delicious cupcakes and cookies. We will also remember that beautiful radio receiver, on a cabinet at the base of which, a curtain would enclose the AB battery. The battery lasted for about three months, and they were worth a small fortune, and the whole family could happily listen, at night, to radio shows from distant cities and the signal would fade out and would leave us waiting for the end of some symphony or some news or suspense program. In any case, the radio was an element that could not be missing in family life. At that time house lighting was done by kerosene lamps that allowed the kitchen to be dimly lit at night, just enough to enjoy dinner, do the dishes and, of course, sit down and listen to the radio. In those days, the radio worked on vacuum tubes, also called valves, and also, thermionic radio valves. This type of valve required at least two voltages for its operation, one and a half volts for the tube filaments and 90 volts to feed the plate circuits. The battery was made up of a big cardboard box filled with flashlight cells, connected in two groups, one of them in parallel to supply one and a half volts for the filaments, and the other group, connected in series, to drive the amplification circuits. The 90-volt battery consisted of 60 flashlight cells connected in series, each with a voltage of one and a half volts. This series was for supplying the tube plates. On the other hand, the other group that fed the filaments suffered greater wear, and it was made up of about 30 flashlight cells connected in parallel. The radio receiver was connected to the battery by means of a four-pin plug, with the two widely spaced pins being for the highest voltage and the two closely spaced pins for the lowest voltage. This type of battery was called AB, according to the electronic terminology of those days. Due to its weight and size it did not lend itself to be used in pocket receivers. But, undoubtedly, both the vacuum tube radios and the AB batteries branded an entire era of pleasant family memories. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Shavata in.